from the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today to do some art in action from home with you. If you've ever heard the word contour to talk about drawing, that actually just is the French word for outline. And we're going to be doing some outline drawings today, contour drawings. Um, so go ahead and follow along, and we're looking forward to seeing what you make. Today you're going to need a pencil or pen, a piece of paper, and you're going to need to build your own still life. So you're going to want to think about um, what are objects around your house or in your garden that you find outside, anything that's a variety of sizes, textures, and shapes. And you're going to want to be specifically looking for interesting organic lines, so curving lines that make a shape, maybe it's not even a shape you can name, um, like the shapes on these pine cones or on these flowers, really um, fluid, moving, organic shapes. And your pencil tip is going to be following those lines, um, like there's a little ant crawling across each of the lines. So I want you to be thinking about what are the interesting organic shapes that you want to draw today, and find those out in the world or in your house, and um, bring them back to use in your still life. And then finally, you want to do your drawing in a well-lit space. Since we're looking closely at the outline of these shapes, you need to be able to see them really well. Um, so you'll set up your still life uh, right near your uh, drawing space and make sure that you can see it really well. Before we get started on the um, full drawing today, I wanted to show you a couple different techniques that I think are helpful with contour drawing. Um, the first is that idea of imagining that the tip of your pencil is an ant drawing on the surface. So if I'm drawing this leaf in front of me here, I'm keeping my eyes on the leaf the whole time, but letting my pencil move down, get that nice curving edge of the leaf. And then if you notice, there are some little bites or little pieces taken out of the end of this leaf. So as my ant crawls along, it scoops down into those tiny creases and then all the way around the end of the leaf. And then if you notice the edge of the leaf here is a little bit jagged, kind of a zigzag shape. So the ant, as it's crawling along, is going to want to feel each one of those zigzags. Okay, and then I've got this really smooth line coming up the middle. Okay, and then another idea is that the harder you press on your pencil, you can actually darken the line. So even if you're not um, lifting up your pencil or adding color, um, you can still get a much darker line depending on how hard you press. So if I'm pressing really hard right here, and then a little less hard, and then barely at all, you can see the color kind of fades a little bit, and we can show it even more if we're lighter and lighter. So you can see that it's lighter as you space your lines apart, it's lighter as you um, t lift off the pressure. And then the final technique I wanted to share with you is this idea that it's okay to double back on your lines. So if you notice, um, there's this really nice curve of this leaf here, and I didn't quite get that. I was really focused on having my ant crawl on the zigzags of the line, so I didn't quite get it perfect. But I think it's okay to go back and, and try it again. Um, and sometimes contour drawings will look really nice if you are kind of layering up the lines in that way. So I'm going to keep doing those zigzags, but pull them out a little bit here to get that nice curving shape. And then I can double back on the other areas too if I wanted. And then I'm noticing all the nice veining in the leaf here too. So I'll double back there and try to get some of that in there. And now's the time to use that lighter touch because it is harder to see, right? So this is just an example of a couple different ways you can approach contour drawing, um, but 
Now that you've got a great setup and some ideas about how to get started, I'll show you um, how I did it.